today we have no plans, so we're gonna ride to Savannah, Georgia and see what's there. We've never been. Since we didn't have anything planned today, we thought we would just run over to Savannah, Georgia. I don't know, I didn't do enough research on it so we know where exactly to go, but I feel like it's somewhat like Charleston and there's just a lot of historic places there. And so we're just gonna go and walk around and have lunch for the day and enjoy. With us staying here in Hilton Head, it's only 35 miles and a short 55 minute drive to Savannah, Georgia from here. <laughs> when you have a tall tow vehicle and <laughs> See, they park so far over I have a park there. Yeah. Well, we're really not sure where we're going, but we're gonna go down through the historical district down to the waterfront. And then just walk around. we would try. Food was great. I'm not going to say it was like raw, but it was really good and for the views, it's been amazing. So I know this is subjective and I know that I'm biased because I absolutely or we absolutely love Charleston, but if you're looking for a town that has authentic and has preserved the history I feel like Charleston does that with their 70, 80 rule where if it's 70 or 80 years old, you have to replicate it back or you can't take it down or whatever that rule is. But I feel like that makes the biggest difference between Savannah and Charleston because old, a lot of new mixed with the old. That's just my opinion. I'm thinking Savannah is beautiful and really cool, but it doesn't have that authentic charm. Just a big difference is all the architecture. Like, see these? This is a bulb. In Charleston, 
everything is original. It's all gaslit. I literally can't tell you if I saw a bulb at all. Original. What'd you say? Back in the day, they used to put candles in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a light. It's not a bulb. I mean, like, it just has that feel. All of Charleston almost feels the same. Where here you go to different blocks, different sections feel a little different. Yes. Where all of Charleston kind of flows together a little better than here. Although here is really nice. There's beautiful spots here. Yeah, I'm not... It doesn't flow together like Charleston. Here. Yeah, it, uh, Charleston, you feel like you're at the old town every place you look. And this feels more industrial than Charleston. Charleston feels more of a... Like you have a big, the big houses and everything where here, we're running, we're running. We're here. It has a lot more industrial feel here in Savannah and Charleston is more of a historical feel. Maybe it's just the big, the big beautiful homes on every corner that makes me like Charleston better. I just think they're so pretty with the moss in them. Just think what all the stories some of these trees could tell. Ooh, look at that tree. So pretty. I wonder how expensive these houses are. All right, maybe it was just the waterfront down there was just kind of, but we're on E. Jones Street beautiful i just looked up there are several houses on this street 2.5 2.6 million dollars and they are under contract there's some really pretty houses up through here we've come crop come pretty good ways off the waterfront but we can't figure out why there's pineapples on every door so. Where did you see pineapples? <laughs> oh, you're being funny. <laughs> And like I said, Savannah is a beautiful, great place. We personally like Charleston a little better. That's strictly because we stayed a lot longer in Charleston. We were in Charleston for a couple of weeks. We're here, we had about two or three hours. So hard for us to make a determination on that short of a time we're here, but we still had to make a choice and we still choose Charleston, although both are great. Hope you enjoyed what little bit we got to see of Savannah. Till next time, like and subscribe. <laughs> Are you trying to get out of the going into the bed of the truck?